Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom, and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Today we are checking out the new Jolt electric vehicle chargers here in Forestville on the western edge of the Northern Beaches local government area here in Sydney, Australia. I'm driving our Tesla Model 3 Performance to go check it out. As of you know, Jolt is installing electric vehicle chargers all around Australia. Particularly in Sydney, they are using distribution boxes run by Ausgrid. They're converting them into electric vehicle chargers. As you can see, there's one there right now. It's there on the right. I am coming here on a Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening almost, and uh, I guess the issue with uh, this charger is that uh, you might be able to see on the right there is that this is actually quite a uh, busy shopping area uh, for Forestville. You see there's uh, some shops there, we'll go down and have a look in a second, but there is a car parked in there currently. Uh, don't, I don't call this icing because uh, the ground is actually not marked, so I'll show you in a second, and there's no uh, signage as well. So hopefully this uh, Audi that's parked there currently will move, finish with what they're doing, and then we'll, uh, we'll go check out the uh, Jolt electric vehicle charger. See you very shortly. Okay, so what I've done now is actually just uh, just turn my car around and we are just uh, just waiting here for that spot. I mean, this is a legitimate parking spot in itself. It's a two-hour parking spot here on the street. So when that Audi is done, we'll, uh, we'll get in there and uh, charge up using this Jolt EV parking spot right here. Okay, so it looks like the person driving the car is about to leave this parking spot, so we are about to uh, get to use the Jolt EV charging spot right here in Forestville. Again, this is one of the issues with uh, not having the ground well signed, uh, or having any signage at all for that matter, that this is an electric vehicle charging spot, so we can't blame the car that's parked here. Uh, but hopefully Jolt will uh, amend that in uh, time to come. I mean, it's a difficult choice because it is a premium parking spot here in Forestville. It is a very busy shopping village, so uh, you know you are you are removing one parking spot for the general public. I can see the issue here, but uh, no problem at all. Let's get in there. So just be careful. It is a tight parking spot, and uh, to be fair, the cables are actually hanging out very close to uh, the parking spot there on the left. So. I think Jot may need to possibly have a look at that as well because it could become a hazard for other people having the cables dangling so close. Anyway, we are parked in. Let's uh, go take a look. Okay, so here we are at the Jolt electric vehicle charger here in Forestville. Let's have a look. There's currently no instructions that I can see on uh, the actual unit itself. So I'm just going to use some intuition here. There is a charge MO plug here. In case you have a charge ammo plug for your car. Okay, but I would think most of us, including Tesla Model 3 owners, would be using this one here, which is a Type 2 CCS or CCS2 plug. So let's plug it into the car. That port's already up in here on Model 3, so let's plug it straight in. Okay, so there's a click, the light goes blue. And let's have a look at my app now. So and press this button here. So you can actually scan the uh, QR code if there is one, uh, but not that I can see on the current uh, Jolt unit. So what we'll do is actually use this method. And uh, there we are, there's the Jolt icon right there. So I will press that and there we go. The app says there is a uh, CCS2 and a char demo there. We can do it that way. We can scan the unit, but again, there's no barcode. So we'll uh, just go back here and we'll scroll up like that and we'll use the uh, 25 kilowatt CCS2 like that. And there it is there. So there is uh, seven kilowatt hours free per day that we can use. So we'll do that right now. Let's press start charging. It's preparing. Waiting for vehicle. Okay. 
Go back to the car there. So we should be good to go very soon. Flickering away. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's going green now. Should be working pretty soon here. There we go. All right. So we've got it working there. NB002, 59, the center, Forestville. We are starting with a 39% state of charge. And again, we've got seven kilowatt hours free to play with. And there's there we say subscription. We've got 6.99 kilowatt hours free left from your subscription. Once charging is complete, please vacate the space. Yes, indeed. All right, we'll see how long that takes. There's some stats there as well. We've got duration and amount and how much power is available as well. So 20 kilowatts is what the unit is supplying to the car. We should go and check out the uh, car and see how much we're actually getting to the car. And don't forget to also check in in case someone else needs a charge. They can message you through the app. So even though the app is saying 20 kilowatts, the uh, car is only getting 13 at this stage. With an hour 25 remaining, let's have a look. So we've got two minutes of charging has elapsed and it's picked up 0.37 kilowatt hours. Remembering that we've got seven kilowatt hours free to play with every day. So again, as I said before, the actual parking spot itself is not marked. It's uh, just a normal parking spot. And there's actually no signage at all nearby to suggest that it's an EV parking spot. So that could be problematic expecting to charge a car when uh, it's not actually a dedicated charging spot. So hopefully Jot will uh, amend that in time to come. So just around the EV charger itself, as I said, it's Forestville Shopping Village. Lots of uh, cafes and restaurants and things to while away your time while you're charging your car. There's a kebab shop right there in front of us. And across the car park there is the library and community centre. And uh, there are public toilets in there as well during hours of operation. Okay, so halfway in, still 13 kilowatts. Added three kilowatt hours. State of charge is 42%. Let's have a look at the app. App is still showing supplying 20 kilowatts to the car from the unit and 3.85 kilowatt hours have been used of my 7 kilowatt hour allocation. I've got 3.15 kilowatt hours left. 13 minutes have elapsed. So uh, just be aware there is a slight discrepancy between uh, what is supplied from the unit and uh, also what reaches your car as well. So that's seven kilowatt hours is what comes from the unit rather than what goes into your car. So obviously you get a bit less than what comes from the unit. I assume there's some losses going to the car. And uh, this is a 2019 Performance Model 3. So uh, it might be different for, uh, for later cars. And as I mentioned before, the uh, cables do dangle a little bit out onto the parking spot itself, as you can see there. So uh, I suppose it may present a slight hazard, but it is quite close to the edge there. And by the way, this new EV charger just took the place of an existing distribution box, as you can see here. All right, so we're getting very close to that threshold, that seven kilowatt hour threshold. It's currently 6.29 kilowatt hours on the app. 19 minutes have passed and I've got 0.71 kilowatt hours free left from your subscription. Let's have a look at the car. It has gone up a little bit to 14 kilowatts and uh, we started with 39. So I've added 6% of charge to this Tesla Model 3. Now I'm very interested to see what happens when we reach that seven kilowatt hour threshold. Uh, whether it stops or whether it just uh, keeps going and we start getting uh, charged a fee. So stay tuned, exciting stuff. 
Okay, so now it's 6.99 kilowatt hours. We have 0.01 kilowatt hours left from our free subscription. 21 minutes have passed. Let's see what happens when it ticks over to seven. And what's really interesting too is that even though it says 6.99 in the app, the car has only added five kilowatt hours, I guess due to those energy losses from the unit to the car and it's only charging at 13 to 14 kilowatts whereas down in the app there we can see that the unit is supplying 20 kilowatts versus 13 that the car is receiving so there is that discrepancy between what the unit is supplying and what the car has received so in the real world we're only getting five kilowatt hours let's see what happens when it ticks over seven so there we go it's ticked over to 7.34 kilowatt hours. We are now getting charged 50 cents for anything over seven, which is 0.34 now. I guess that number does go up. So there you go, guys, that's what happens. And uh, Jolt did recently change their uh, subscription policy in the past. You could just unplug and plug it back in and get another free seven, but uh, you only get seven kilowatt hours per day now from the app. All right, so that's it for me. Uh, let's, that's seven kilowatt hours. So we will stop the charging session. Let's do that right now and charging. Ending, done. All right, let's go unplug the charger. Okay, so we're done charging. We've stopped the charging session. It's now gone white. We can safely pull the charger out like that. And like good EV citizens, we will uh, sling it back into the cradle. There we go, it's sitting there nicely. I guess you can also stop the charger this way by pressing this button here. That stops the charger. You can take it out that way. All right, everyone, that is my Jolt EV charging experience here at Forestville on the western edge of the Northern Beaches local government area. So that was exciting, wasn't it? Seeing that EV charging. Yeah, well, look, I had a pretty good experience. I um, picked the right time to come, which was on a Sunday night. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too busy. Luckily, the uh, person that was parked there only took about a minute or two to leave and uh, I could promptly take their spot. I saw a, a Hyundai Kona parked next to me uh, when I left. So yeah, nice to have that uh, seven kilowatt hours free every day. Uh, am I gonna use it? Probably not too often. It's pretty close to my house. So uh, I think what I'll do is probably just, if I get a chance, if that spot is vacated, which to be honest as a local, it doesn't happen too often. It's a pretty busy area. Uh, on the uh, western side of the shopping village here in Forestville. But if it is free, maybe I'll plug in there for that free seven kilowatt hours. And that's only seven kilowatt hours free per day now. But uh, yeah, I think Jolt, uh, you know, thank you very much for doing that Jolt. Appreciate you, uh, you know, installing these chargers around town. Um, my only critique, as I said, is just, if you could just paint the floor, uh, you know, to make it clear that's an EV charging spot, just because, you know, it's, there aren't that many chargers here up on the north side uh, of, of uh, Sydney. So nice to have an extra charging spot. And, uh, you know, if you can just make it clear it's an EV spot for people coming up this way, uh, and maybe put some signage as well to say it's an EV charging only spot, that would be greatly appreciated for future installations and even for this one as well. All right, everyone, take care of yourselves. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, make sure you leave a comment. Just uh, tell me what you thought of that. And uh, I'll be sure to uh, review more Jolt EV chargers in Sydney where I can. Take care, everyone. Until the next video, happy charging.